for Alberta. This is only a test. If this had been an actual emergency or threat, you would now hear instructions that would assist you to protect you and your family. Yo, B Burners PVB 403. Let's go. So Jesse hits my jack. Says you got row B. Woohoo. Fucking lucky me. The guy's a tool, and that scene at large, he doesn't get a chance to poke her, so with the hands, I'll leave more faces down like I was the one dealing the cards. Dude, and after this, your country might hate me. Yeah, but I don't really give a fuck, because if you came here, you getting caught with a tummy tuck. We don't got the same drive. Think of a Hellcat to a Tesla truck. See, get it? You need time to charge, but show me the cash and I'm gassing up. You think you're indestructible, but you smashing glass like Elon Musk. You should have quit. You should have retired. My resume's sick. I got what's required. This is someone who don't get tired to a dude hanging on a slim wire. Dude, I'm on a roll. Burns be taking out more animals than Australian fires. And you winning? You fucking bloke. Dude, you don't even know how that's felt. Think of John Cena. Because there's a spin on things if you ever claiming a belt. Yeah, dude, you rap trash. Like straight from the gutters. Looking like you've been on more rails than an average train conductor. Shit, dog. It's awful. I'll roll up with more shooters than a skills comp. Five seats in the whip and they're all full. Yeah, dude. And your bitch, whenever she sees me, she gargles. I'm, re I'm repping AB Canada. Yeah, dude. We well known for our cattle. It's funny how you name yourself Roe, but now you're stuck kicking in shit's creek with no paddle. You're a fuck, dude. So fuck you. Only a face a mother could love and your mom doesn't even love you. I named the gun Copenhagen. Why? Because it's coming to snuff you. Yeah, dude. Redneck bars. What you know about that? Rose still on those trash bars like you can see defeat at the doormat. You fucking asshat. Fuck your country with your stupid ass accents. I don't like you not to any extent. It's a good thing this is online because I didn't have to ruin an event. Three rounds of your voice? Oh man, would that ever fucking suck. I'll bash your head in with coffee cups and hockey pucks and stick my cock in your stocky slut. Dude, I wouldn't even call her a bitch because she's a fucking ugly mutt. So fuck Roby. That's when I know I got to leave the scene. It looks like he fucking tries to get drunk off Listerine. He's already too hard to understand like Mr. Bean. So fuck it. I'm out here. I'm quitting clean. That means my tie's cut. See, I wanted an expensive plate. Think China. But I guess it wasn't this time. And speaking of time, oh, mine's up. So fuck you, you ugly cunt. I'll fucking Khabib ya, bud. Well, here we have it. Roe B versus B Borns. Lucky me, what a dream. Epic battle for the ages. People gather from far and wide to watch the screens. But just so you know, I wouldn't care who you are. If smoked out didn't drop that coin like a slot machine. And you're only getting two minutes of my time. Because, well, the whole world's under quarantine. And getting me? Misfortune. You? Shit's bored. And I lead the youth like Kim Gordon. Take shots like Mick Jordan. Room this fucking kid's organ. Scream got him. Jim Gordon. Bring your mummy on the cruise. You could say that I'm Nick Norton. I promise you, you won't want to wrestle like Liv Morgan. He'll get thrown through a window. Replaced like a Rick. Smarty, get hung like a Chris Cornell, don't act like an important man, this prick's about to crash a born like he's Tim Horton, I mean, your country says sorry for everything, so don't you dare put on some tough demeanour, but can I just give some cool, cool things too, I mean Colby Smolder, she's a stunning creature, and Seth Rogen, seems pretty cool, sits around all day puffing reef or maple syrup, there's nothing sweeter, I even like the fucking beaver, but I will never forgive you damn Canucks for giving us Nickelback and Justin Bieber, I mean, weed is legal in your country. And I have to say, I wish it was in our land. And I'm sure you like to puff the bull. Probably make a joint or two out of a gram. But no one likes when you're around. They only keep you there because you always got that flower, lad. So I know you're only smoked out because Mr. Bourne's got that power plant. See, our countries have got a lot in common. And if I'm really being honest... Both have outdated laws that were recently abolished. We were even ruled by England, mistreated by the monarch. But the difference is, we as Irish people fought for freedom till we got it. And even though you're not under British rule, check that sheet inside your pocket. I guess we are the champion. And there's no need for being modest because you still have to see that killer queen every time you're reaching to your wallets. So go on, 
talk about leprechauns or the rain that fills the Dublin skies because I did some research on your country borns and there's some things that I've come to find you will all have some strange traditions like when there's an engagement on your mother's side the husband of the blushing bride has to throw pudding in her fucking eyes or the whole wedding is null and void you all have half a head and that's how I know this battle's cut and dry so don't you dare that pally pally with me friend because you know I'm not your buddy guy and when the rest of the world hears you're on tin ice it's a threat Made the horde. When Canadians hear that, they're all like, awesome, May. Let's throw on our boots and skate the walk. And no one takes your country seriously anyway. So now you know I'm not a fan of it. Even your own fucking national anthem was like, ha, ha, ha. Oh, Canada.